Good afternoon everyone, hope you all are having a great day so far. So today, we are going to be replacing the battery in this ROG Ally Z1 Extreme with this higher capacity 74 watt hour battery here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the ROG Ally, we will flip over the console, and we find that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Phillips head screws, which we will need to remove to remove this back case. Bear in mind, after this bottom center screw is released, it will not be removed from the back casing. After all six screws have been disengaged, we can slowly remove the back cover by using a prying tool such as this to move in between the seams until all the plastic clips are released. After all the plastic clips around the perimeter have been released, we can gently move the back cover of the console and show the inside. To remove the existing battery, we will need to gently lift on this ribbon, which is adhered to the battery with a light adhesive, and we will want to do this very slowly as not to damage the ribbon cable. With the ribbon cable released, we can go ahead and remove the connector for the battery by gently prying on it, and then remove the four screws on the battery, two on either side and two at the top here. After all four screws have been disengaged, we can gently remove the battery by lifting upwards and away from us, and then sliding it out towards us. This is the battery fully removed. We can now move this sponge down to the bottom left for some extra support, and after that has been completed, we can start with some cutting. We will cut the two posts located in the bottom left here, and the bottom right here, and after that we can proceed with cutting the back cover. For the battery to fit flush inside the back case, we will need to cut all plastic pieces above and below these two screw posts, and in between these two black pieces of foam, then this rectangular space here. After the cutting has been completed, we can move on to installing the battery. To access the battery cable, we will first need to remove our hard drive, as well as our hard drive adapter, if you have one installed, and we can release the battery cable by sliding up on this metal bracket and removing the cable by moving it side to side until it pops free. From here, we can route the new battery into position underneath this ribbon cable, carefully ensuring the battery fits into place and pressing the battery cable into its socket, making sure that the metal bracket is engaged. Now that the new battery is properly seated and plugged in, we can go ahead and close up the console and test it for functionality. Do not forget to reinstall your hard drive like I did. And now we can close the device back up and test it for functionality. Now that all six screws have been returned to the back of the console, we can plug it into its original charger and then see if it starts up. So let's go ahead and plug it in. The orange light is on and let's start it up. And it looks like it worked. And checking on this battery report, you can see that the battery has indeed been increased in capacity. And there you have it. In general, to calibrate the new battery, you would want to charge it all the way up to 100% and then leave it on until it's completely discharged, then charge it up again, repeat the cycle maybe two or three times, and the battery should give a proper reading. Keep in mind that performing this modification will avoid the warranty if you still have it. However, on this channel, I don't really care about warranties, but if you do, then that's something to consider before performing the mod. I will continue testing this battery over time to see how it performs in comparison to the previous battery. However, that's it for today's video. If this content was helpful, please consider liking the video as well as subscribing for more content like this in the future. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave those below. I read all of my comments and I will get back to them as soon as I can. But in any case, that's it for today's video. So thank you all for watching once again, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.